wish me well wish you well go that way we'll go this way and that's just gonna be that that's it that's it break down my walls you know you got me standing so tall with your love ain't gonna fall because you see me right through it all with your love hello thank you so much for clicking on this video and coming to spend your time with moi me i know it's been a minute but we're gonna get into all of that we're gonna talk about it so i'm about to do a get ready with me so if you want to get ready with me and talk about why i've been in my a then let's go it has been a while since I sat down and did a video. Like it's been probably almost a month. I'm thinking it's been a month. I mean, I did just post a vlog like three days ago, but prior to that, yeah, no. It's been a minute. And you know, usually when I go MIA off of YouTube, it's because I fall behind but this time I think was validated because I was just like Ugh. I was just sucked dry and like my energy was just I didn't know if I was gonna come back from this one usually I'm really good about you know getting in a rut and then coming out of it but this one this one had me down pretty bad so my brows are already done. Now I'm just gonna moisturize. But yeah, this, so I got into my little rut, if you wanna say, well, yeah. It was a rut. Probably like the beginning of September. Let's just say, yeah, the beginning of September. And it lasted probably until mid-October I mean now I feel way better than how I was feeling like I'm just gonna be all the way transparent I had some bad energy in my life from other people and it's like if you have someone that is like sucking your energy dry it's it's not gonna get better until that energy is gone from your life sometimes you just have to like recognize what is like drawing this energy out of you and just pinpoint it and then deal with it because if you don't like there's no way that you're going to be able to come out of that i think sometimes i will let it go on for for a while before I say no more. I also know that I'm not the type of person that's gonna sit there and let you take advantage of me. And I let this person, I feel like, take advantage of me for too long. And I gave this person a number of times to you know, prove to me that like this is not what you're really doing. Like, you're not really doing this. And people will so like be so quick to disguise themselves as like your friend, as like they're there to do this for you and there to help you get through this and all of that when all the while they're like making every situation like worse. And this person was just like making every situation worse. Even like relationships with other people that I had. I kept trying to figure out like why am I feeling like this? Like why? Am I going through this? And I've known this person for like a long time. And so, like this person and I have had like fallen out before. It was nothing really crazy. Well, one of them was really crazy, but. And that should've been a red flag right there. Again, like, sometimes I do try to give people the benefit of the doubt, just to like prove yourself, you know, because I do know, you know, sometimes people make mistakes or sometimes, you know, people, 
have like a different way of handling like their feelings and stuff like that and that's all fine and dandy but also you have to be able to know when you're in the wrong and when you are taking advantage of somebody I mind my business okay like I don't have a lot of friends I don't I'm on my business I get in my own ruts here and there but those ruts are the ones that I'm able to like quickly like pull myself out of and get my head back on track right and usually those ruts are just from me constantly thinking about how my life is just stagnant and not going anywhere not moving like not improving like staying in the same spot and mainly I'm not even gonna lie it's because of me because I'm very in my head at times and I'm very uh, hard on myself a lot of times but again I'm able to pull myself out of that and be like listen girl you pretty much have like the creative drive like get to it like why is you playing but you know so I get in those type of ruts on my own so I don't need somebody to come in my life and like just blow it out the water no like what anyway so this person needed a place to stay or whatever and First of all, red flag, you never even asked me, like, could you stay in my house, but whatever. And, you know, I was like, you know, noticing they had low-key just moved in without asking. And again, like, that should have been a red flag. I'm like, okay, so they didn't ask, so maybe it's not going to be that long, right? Wrong. So, me in my head, just me as a person, like, I'm not just going to come to somebody's house and just automatically assume that they gonna let me live in a house or whatever but I'm gonna ask if I need somewhere to stay like I'm gonna ask like hey do you mind if I stay at your house for like a day or two or however long it is I'm not gonna be like eating up all day food I'm like I'm gonna like replace stuff I'm gonna you know do my part because I'm staying at somebody you're letting me stay at your house or you know I'm gonna try to offer you some money I was just like all the way confused like what is going on here and you know I was like okay again it was cool at first it was cool at the beginning I'm not even gonna lie but after a while you're not so I pause I picked up uh, a new foundation this is like a big deal for me because I am so used to using drugstore foundations that me getting an expensive foundation is like that's like a big deal like what but yeah so I don't even think it's my color either but we gonna see so this person it was cool at first or whatever I enjoyed it we was having a good old time but then after a while I like my space you know I mean I have three children that live with me but they don't bother me like that especially the two oldest like I barely ever see them and when I do see them I'll be like oh snap you still stay here I didn't even know you still stay here I'm just kidding. It's just the, the youngest one who like we're always together and y'all see her in my videos all the time. I feel like this person was trying to destroy the relationships I had. Ruin like my regular like friendships that I have. And you know I don't like, like I said I don't have many friends. But yet here you are trying to ruin the friendships that I do have. Which was crazy to me. So yeah I'm going to try this new NARS um, foundation. And then I have like this new marshmallow the marshmallow blender from NYX I think I'm gonna try this too so whenever he spent time with the people it was just a lot it's just it's so much like I could sit here and this would be a long video we spend time with the person that I was talking to without me and then next thing I know ended up not working out granted I shouldn't have been messing with these people anyway because both of them were and you know I should have known because usually I'm really good at picking up on that but here I go and that didn't work out because again they wasn't real ones anyway to begin with because if you're easily persuaded by lies and made up stuff then yeah pretty much you you did me a favor by getting rid of them but when i'm like involved with somebody like i'll 
even if it's not even like romantically involved, if it's just like you're my friend, I'm gonna go out of my way for you and you know, like whatever you need, I'm gonna go out of my way to help you. People take that kindness for weakness because Just talking about it makes me sick to my stomach. <sighs> Two of the worst months of my life this year. I feel like this person just like kind of like wanted to seclude me and like have me to themselves. I got to the point where like I was just like, listen, either you're going to start, you know, helping out because these bills are due every month at the same time. My oven went out, my heat went out, my dryer went out. Everything was going out back to back. So I had to call to get the dryer fixed. I had to call to get the heater fixed. And then I had to call and see if I could get the oven fixed. But my oven is like hella old. So the dude was just like, mm. yeah, right before Thanksgiving too. Great. Love that for me. I got to the point where it's just like, okay, not only are you not giving me money, but you coming in here like every day with fast food, bags from Ross, bags from Burlington, and just, <laughs> just in here. Now that's like, to me, disrespectful. Cause like, you know, like you're staying here, you're not giving me anything. And then have the nerve to tell me, that they going on a date. I said, oh, a date? What? Who paying? Who paying on a date? And it was like me. And I was like, oh. Okay. Okay. All right. So now you know you disrespecting me. I'm just saying, people can like suck your energy dry. When you're letting someone suck your energy, it's hard to get out of that, especially if that person is around you 24 seven and then like would barge into my room, not knock on my door like, what? What? Even if I had company, boom. Excuse me, excuse me. No, mm -mm. Let's let's not do that. That and then I had to cut another person that was, I thought my friend, I swear, me as a friend, again, I thought I will do whatever it takes. You know, whatever you need, I'll support you through all your endeavors. I'll do, you know, my part as a friend. I'm gonna go hard for you. I'm gonna go hard for you. I'm gonna go hard for your family. If you got kids, I'm gonna go hard for your kids. That's just me as a friend. If I'm sitting here, doing all that for you and you're not doing that for me i'm not sure why i'm still here why am i still here if i support your dreams and then you shit on mine like what or if you sit here and tell me you know like how much you appreciate me and how are your other friends did you dirty i'm the one who taught you like what a real friend is and how to be a better friend as well but then you turn around and do some other shit you sit here and tell me one thing but then be on social media doing a whole different different thing that's that must is weird to me tell me one thing but then turn around and do the total opposite of what you're telling me on social media that is just so weird to me i really i really think I live in the twilight zone because this people can't really be like this can they i can see if it happens like you know here or there but when it, it starts becoming a pattern <sighs> i just had to realize there's just certain people that probably shouldn't be in my life and that probably don't deserve me to be in theirs because again i don't want the way someone treats or acts toward me to change me as a person and my character, if that makes sense. Someone 
and their actions, even though they probably know it's wrong and I know it's wrong, I don't want their actions to cause me to have any type of feeling of resentment or jealousy or anything like that based off of what you're telling me. I don't want that type of person in my life. So sometimes you just gotta cut people out and wish them well and all of that but then you know you got to take care of yourself first your mental health your well-being i was down bad like i was down bad like i wasn't posting on social media and it is not like me to not post on social media like even if i don't post on facebook or instagram i'm always posting on snapchat and i was just getting into you know having a a good schedule of you know posting on YouTube and and then bam it hit me like a ton of bricks and I was just down bad I just had to like break myself away from bringing bad energy around me also that like not everybody needs a response and I had to learn also and not only does everyone not need a response but also you don't always have to be the one that has the upper hand. If someone wants to like talk nasty to you, you don't always gotta come back with a rebuttal. Cause there's a there's always other ways to get to get the last laugh and it don't always gotta come with the rebuttal. So I've learned that. I've learned blocking people is healthy. Sometimes you gotta block people <laughs> when they just disrespect you because mm -mm. we're not doing that we're not taking that into 2022 we're not i need to change a lot of my habits and i need to change hold on ah oh, my camera's about to die Let me get this powder on and then I'm gonna change the battery. Don't let me forget what I was saying, cause you know I will. So, what was I saying? Definitely forgot what I was saying. I try to give you the benefit of the doubt. I really do, like I really do. But if you are taking advantage of me and you already know I have three children to take care of. Well, mm, technically two because I have a grown-ass son. But if you know, like, my responsibilities, if you know you're staying with someone, how can you not want to... I don't know if the friendship would e will ever be the same. Probably not because you just came and abused the friendship. Pretty much, basically you abuse the friendship without any type of conversation or anything. When the person felt like they wasn't getting any energy from me, they took that. Okay, maybe it's time for me to bounce, like, and just did just that because like you can only take advantage of somebody for so long before they're gonna eventually get fed up just like you can only be a half-assed friend to somebody for so long before they're gonna be like mm, this is not the type of friendship i want and i lose a lot of friends like that because i feel like a lot of people that i befriend be so pressed on impressing People that don't give a crap about them. Like, you be so focused on impressing this one person that don't care about you that you're willing to do whatever it takes to impress them and shit on me at the same time. Like, but I know I'm a bomb ass friend, and if you real with me, I'm gonna be real with you, and we gonna have a lifetime friendship. But not if you over here playing the okie playing me for the okie doke like no we're not gonna do that 
Cause like I just like I said, I'd rather have no friends than half half fast friends. So just just wish me well, wish you well. Go that way, we'll go this way, and that's just gonna be that. That's it. But I'm a lot happier now because like once you get rid of that negative energy around you, boy, it's like a ton of bricks being lifted off of your shoulder and being able to breathe again. It's so rejuvenating, it's so refreshing. Sometimes the friendship is worth, sometimes the friendship is worth saving, depending on, you know, the ups and downs. But like, certain things you have to learn to just, no, mm -mm. Because I am a big, big, big firm believer in you teach people how to treat you, so if you're, if you let this person continuously over and over again use you and constantly like in your face knowing that they are using you because come on to me I just I just don't understand how you would be able to I don't know you're not a friend to me for that don't take advantage of me don't abuse our friendship because come on like I'm not I'm not stupid I am 40 years old. Like, I'm not stupid. Not so bright when I let you take advantage as much as you did. And let you ruin two situationships and almost a friendship. But you know what? <clears throat> I digress. I'm trying to think if I want to put on lashes. Probably not. Desi spray still going strong. I have a video about this spray. Go watch it. Go check it out. The spray. I need another one. I don't think it would have been so bad if everything wasn't like back to back. Like both the situationships were back to back. And then this person just constantly being there. Just like. I just. I just. I'm changing a lot of habits. I am going to learn to like. Speak up way more like in advance than to just be sitting there letting it go on you know so if you got that going on and you know someone is like taking advantage of you you gotta you gotta speak up you gotta address it because if you don't it's gonna take a toll on you it's gonna wear you down and i'm telling you it is not it is not fun it is not fun it is not cool that's not fair to you because it's just not so if you're dealing with that mm -hmm. you gotta face it head on I mean, if you want me to do it just call me and i'll do it because i have to do it for myself if you need me to let that person know call my line and i'm gonna tell them for you so yeah um that pretty much was the short version of why I like was on my consistency kick again and then boom. And then I wasn't. I cannot keep, you know, doing that. If I'm not putting in the work, then yeah, I'm gonna be stagnant and then I'm going to keep going into those, in and out of those ruts or whatever. And I'm never going to get anywhere if I'm not putting in the work. I got ready to film this video today. I didn't put it off. As much as I wanted to, I didn't. Because I'm not filming outside, so like there's no reason why I couldn't sit down and film this video. It's like there's no reason why I can't edit a video I have videos that you know I have planned in my head that I'm going to sit down and execute I'm gonna make sure that they happen because I do have a lot of creativity I'm the only reason like I hold myself back girl you 40 you gotta get out here and do something with yourself all right so I want to do black lips I'm a little nervous. 
I haven't did black lips in a long time. I freaking love a black lip. Not bad. Mm. All right, let's concentrate. Oof. I'm scared. Don't let nobody shift your energy because I'm such an upbeat, bubbly type of person and anyone who knows me knows I freaking love to laugh. I love to clown all day because the world we live in, like, you have to laugh. You have to find some type of joy, some type of happiness, or you will be miserable. You need to decipher, like, who's good for you and who's not good for you. Who is truly your friend and who is just using you. I'm telling you, like, your mental health is more important than anything. You just gotta know when it's time to cut someone out of your life. When somebody is no longer good for you. When someone no longer serves you a purpose. Because they're not in your life helping you grow. They gotta go. So, yeah, I'm happy with the people in my life now. They keep me grounded. I'm talking to somebody new now. Seems like a good person. I'll keep you updated on that. And yeah, I'm back though. I'm back and I'm better. And I have a goal that I want to keep. I don't want to say that loud because I feel like it would be a bigger disappointment if I say it out loud and I don't hold up to it than if I just keep it to myself and then I accomplish it, then I can, you know, celebrate within, you know, celebrate my little small victories. Sometimes you gotta keep things to yourself, you know? But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this Get Ready With Me. If you are not subscribed to my channel, then what is you doing? Why not? Subscribe to my channel. Make sure you turn on your post notifications so that you know every time I upload a video, you can come click on it, you know? And uh, make sure you check out my, my vlogs. Like, I mean, I don't want to be doing much of nothing. I don't be doing nothing, but I mean, you get to see a little bit more of my personality in them, I feel like. I feel like yeah a little bit but yeah so make sure you subscribe make sure you give this video a thumbs up make sure you let me know what's up in the comments like give me some words of encouragement give me some of your experiences let me know something it'd be dry down there pause it'd be you know what mm -mm. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you watched it all the way to the end, I appreciate you. You're amazing. And I will see you in my next one. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. It's probably right here. Subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Peace.